up though it's philip tech today i'm going to show you how to upgrade your doorbell transformer uh transformer essentially steps down the voltage so you have the 120 volts uh that's used throughout your house and the transformer steps that down to like let's say 8 or 16 volts ac so they can be used to power on your doorbell video doorbell and your chime when you're upgrading your doorbell to a video one uh, that can be used for video streaming and motion detection such as ring and ufi oftentimes you need to upgrade your transformer traditional transformers for the push button doorbells have a input voltage of 8 or 16 volts ac and a power rating 10 to 15 uh, VA which stands for volt amperes new video doorbells actually require a much higher voltage So the input voltage that's required is usually 16 volts AC to 24 VAC and the power rating is anywhere from 20 to 40 VA the transformer that I'm gonna be installing is this 16 volts output with a power rating of 30 va this should work for most video doorbells now if you have two video doorbells uh, you probably want to upgrade to let's say uh, 40 volt amperes the first thing we want to do is locate your old transformer so it's different for everybody's house some common places you could find it is in your garage it could be in your attic it could be in your uh, basement so you also want to look near the electrical panel all around it might be there uh, I've seen some people where it's by the furnace or light fixtures. So in my case, it was actually in the basement next to a light fixture that's right underneath the doorbell. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn off the power to the entire house. I don't know exactly which circuit breakers for my doorbell, so I'm just gonna do it for the entire house. Let's go. Here I have my old transformer. You can see it's 16 volts output with 10 VA volt amperes. So this is the same output that we're gonna put on our transformer. Now the input on this one only has two. So it has the power and the return line, but the older one has three, so it has power, return, and ground. So if I look here, I actually was able to find a ground line. You see the copper wire there, so I'm actually gonna untangle it and use part of it for my uh, ground that it's gonna be connected with a jumper like this. So let me show you that. First thing we want to do is we want to take the backing out where the input is, pull that through because that's going to hold it. Let's put these wires through the hole here. So while I have this here, I'm actually going to put the output <coughs> load. I'm just going to connect it. It doesn't matter actually where you connect this. So connect the white one here. Mine is about as tight as you can get it. Uh, this screw in the back is kind of stopping it, but otherwise it's pretty good to hold up the for a transformer not to fall. Now let's connect these wires. You want to follow the 
wire formation as it was last time. Usually black goes with black. That's the power line. You want to put the white with the white for the return. And then the green wires can go with the another green wire for ground or just the straight copper that I have here. That should be it for all the wire connections. All three power return and ground are all connected and so is the output right here, the 16 volts. So we're gonna put this back together and then turn on power, see how it works. Let's turn back the power on. Now we can test if the chime's going to work. If you have any other questions or tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment down below. Till next time, see ya.